Well, what do you do if you've got bad habits? How do you get into really good habits? What a great question. <laughs> Do you have any bad habits that you want to get rid of? How did you get them in the first place? And can you actually stop something that you don't want to do anymore? Now, the psychologists, psychiatrists, brain experts, and neuroscientists suggest that we can't get rid of a habit. We just exchange it for a different one. And the interesting thing to that then is what happens chemically inside the brain. So once again, do we actually get addicted to smoking, drinking, taking drugs, food, gambling, whatever it is that we love doing, the habit of, or is it the chemical response in the brain? So if I get a dopamine rush, a reward drug, woohoo, I feel fantastic. If I've got serotonin in my brain, oxytocin, the love drug, uh, I start feeling really good. So if I do that, I feel good, so then I get addicted to it, so I keep doing it, which of course is possibly the definition of a habit. So if I've got a bad habit, so if the habit that I'm doing, the thing that I keep doing over and over that's giving me the dopamine rush, if it's uh, making my life, or if, if it isn't adding value to my life, it's making my life a challenge, uh, how do I exchange that bad habit, the one that's not adding value, to a good habit that could add value? And again, if you go with the brain chemistry, it's got nothing to do with the thing, it's to do with the, the brain chemistry. So what can I do differently to get the same brain rush without the bad side effects. So I'm sure you've heard of people, for example, who stop smoking, but they take up eating, which again is not adding value to their life for a lot of people because they put on weight and they don't feel good. But what if I stop smoking and I take up high intense exercise? And that's where the dopamine rush comes from, the serotonin, oxytocin, if I exercise with other people. If I exercise at a high intensity, I change my brain chemistry with all of these great side effects. So yes, I get fitter, I get stronger, better posture, better hair, skin and nails. I feel really good because when I get that dopamine rush from exercise, I feel fantastic. Now we always feel fantastic with the dopamine rush, but unfortunately, some of those things have those ah, challenging side effects. So then if I wanna make great decisions, and often parents, teachers, bosses, leaders, business people ask me, how do I make sure that uh, I'm making good decisions for me, for my family, for my team, for my students? And the question I always ask back is, what's, what's going on with your brain chemistry? Because if I wanna get into the habit of making great decisions, which has got, obviously gotta be a great habit, is it possible that I have to think differently? But have you ever tried, you know, if you're not feeling good, if you, do, if you can't make good decisions, if you feel angry or depressed or you just don't feel like it, have you ever tried to make a great decision in that headspace? So I really need to change. I need to be inspired. I need to be motivated. But your brain chemistry is all screwed up. So here's a great question. What about change your brain chemistry and then make decisions rather than try and inspire and motivate yourself to make decisions and then what do you end up with? Usually people share with me they end up feeling worse because they know what they should be doing. They don't feel like it. They don't do it so they feel after I, I'm supposed to do something I feel bad that I didn't do it but I also feel guilty because I know what I should be doing. But has all of that got something to do with brain chemistry? And if you've got to get into the habit of making great decisions, how do I change my brain chemistry to do that? And this is where uh, I feel now a little bit like I'm a broken record. If I get really puffed, if I overload my phosphate system, my fight and flight system, which is the stay alive energy system for the body, if I'm under threat, if I need to make a decision, if, I've, if my, anything in my life is challenging, my body goes into fight or flight. I run away, which a lot of people do, or I have to turn and fight and face the challenge. Now, if you're a boss, if you're a teacher, if you're a parent, if you're a leader, if you're a coach, I don't think we have an option, do we, to, to run away. We actually have to turn and fight. But to make great decisions without great brain chemistry obviously doesn't work. So if I then if I if I have this body that's full of chemistry that says you're under stress, which is the cortisol, epinephrine, adrenaline, and my body's feeling stressed now because I'm stressed, I get an increased heart rate, increased blood pressure, increased blood sugar levels, increased blood fat levels, which means I'm now ready to fight and flight. But if I don't, if I don't run away, if I don't fight, if I don't get a physical physical release, 
Now I'm gonna have some challenges. So here's the great suggestion. If you've gotta make good decisions, get puffed, really intensely puffed for 10 seconds, which changes your brain chemistry. But what if you got into the habit of that? What if your habit, instead of smoking, drinking, taking drugs, eating, gambling, any of the things that we get addicted to, what if we got addicted to getting puffed for 10 seconds whenever we feel stressed? And I'll use myself as a, this is just a personal example. When I started understanding brain chemistry, that made sense to me. So every time I felt stressed, I would sprint. I'd punch the bag, sprint on the spot, skip rope, run around the house, run up and down a steep driveway. I would do something to get puffed. But what's happened now, I'm in the habit of that. So whenever I feel my blood pressure going up or my heart rate going up or I start to feel stressed, I don't even think about it anymore. I automatically stop what I'm doing and I'll go and punch the bag, skip ropes, sprint on the spot, do push-ups, do something to get puffed. My body is now in the habit of doing that. And then when I'm in the habit of getting puffed and then I do 100% intense activity and then I have a brain change, now I can think clearly. I can make better decisions. Uh, everything about my life is different. At the time, everything is different, but long term now everything is different because there, there's no such thing as stress that I can't handle. There's no such thing as decisions that I can't, just, I can't make up my mind. Because when your brain chemistry is sorted, could it, or is it possible that everything works better? Try and make a decision when you're depressed or angry or don't feel like it, very complicated. Making decisions when your brain is full of brain-derived neurotropic factor, fertilizer for your brain, you feel rewarded, dopamine, you feel satisfied with your life, serotonin, endorphins are the pain-killing drugs, so you, everything about your brain and your body is working effectively, could that be the best time, in fact, I'll go a step further, could that be the only time we should make decisions? Have you ever made a decision when you felt stressed or angry or emotional, which is the hormonal system, and then regretted that decision because you didn't think it through clearly. Well, the, the whole process of, and I'll use brain-derived neurotropic factor, which is that fertilizer for your brain, that causes neurogenesis, so new brain cells, so that we think differently. We can drop off the old brain cells with the old way of thinking and create new pathways. So there's neuroplasticity, think differently, neurogenesis, new brain cells, woohoo! And you wonder why I get excited. This is just simple physiology. It's not psychology. It's not some complicated, rah-rah, motivational thing that you have to do to make great decisions or change your habits. And I'm, there's so many books and seminars and workshops and information and opinions about how to get rid of a bad habit. But ultimately, if you want to change your habits, I'll go back to the experts, you have to just replace your bad habit with a good one. But how do you do that if your brain chemistry is not sorted? So rather than trying to motivate and inspire yourself to make better decisions and change your bad habits, why not get your brain chemistry right, which is 10 seconds of intense activity. So sprint on the spot, punch the bag, jump squats, push-ups. It's the 100% and that's the big deal here. You've got to get totally fully puffed. Phosphate system is 100% effort. Now the beautiful thing about that is it only lasts for 10 seconds. So you can't go longer than 10 seconds, but what happens is you change your brain chemistry in 10 seconds, and now you can think more clearly. You get the dopamine rush, the same as you would if you took drugs, went shopping, gambling, took, uh, got, uh, smoking or drinking, you'll still get the same dopamine rush, you'll still feel satisfied with your life, uh, and I always I have a bit of a joke about that because often when you see people that are high on drugs, they love their life. Or people who are really drunk, oh, I'm so happy, I'm in love, I love my life. But the side effect, the downside of smoking and drugs and drinking is obviously very complicated. But the side effect of getting intensely puffed, you, get, you recover really quickly, you feel fantastic and you change your brain chemistry so now you can make better decisions. So if you want to get into the habit of being an optimistic, positive, solution-finding person who can make great decisions, could it be a really good idea to change your brain chemistry? And the best way to change your brain chemistry is to get puffed for 10 seconds. Isn't that exciting? So if you want to get into the habit of being a great solution finder, if you want to get into the habit of being a happy person, if you want to get into the habit of pumping your brain full of the, the addictive substances that that addict us to everything, how about have an addiction that has great side effects rather than an addiction that is not, in, not adding value to your life. A very simple process. Most people won't do it, don't do it, 
I don't understand. All I know is that if you get puffed, you'll change your brain chemistry and you can make better decisions and you can change your bad habits to better ones. Wouldn't that be awesome? So you can sing every day like I do. I feel good. Na 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 na. I knew that I would now. Na 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 na. So good. Yeah, yeah.